Suplex! Oh. Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's your boy RBG, aka the Red and Black Gamer, here with my lovely wife, Jenny Lee, on the ones and twos. And this is We Ain't Seen the Reactions, the place where we react to everything that we ain't never seen. And if you're read by the title, you know it's time to get into some shenanigans, man. It's time for us to get into another Gintama reaction, man, because last time we had a lot of crazy shit pop off. Yes, indeed, another one, man. Yeah, um, we got a chance to see my boy Sada Haru's backstory just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Just a little tidbit. We got to see him act a god dang on fool all out in the streets in the city wreaking havoc on everything and everybody. Right. Straight demon time action, man. Or straight. Gado time as he is. You know, he was in his little new form, his transformation. That shit was crazy, bro. That was just off the chain. He was a mess. He was right. Good. And I think the next episode after that was pretty much like a con continuation. Yeah, we got to see one of the girls that was supposed to be in charge of him at her new job, the damn uh, hostess. Yeah, the hostess. House. And uh, also acting their fool, um, scamming all these men out their money, you know? Right. I like how they just come up with a convenient plot thread to excuse what happened in the last episode. Oh, we had to sell our shrine to cover the damage and expenses and shit. I don't know, like, maybe they had a super big shrine and that was able to cover it, but I don't know how valuable shrines are nowadays, or at least in modern times. I'm pretty because, sure they're quite valuable because like it's not, land. they're not just being built. Yeah, they're not being built. It's like a part of, like, history, so maybe there was just something that just covered all that damage. I, I just don't understand, though, because it was like a big-ass state that he destroyed and shit like that. But who knows, man? It's probably different in this era. <laughs> I keep yawning! She do, man. She ready to get up freak on, y'all. So don't mind her. You know what I'm saying? Freak of the week. Tell me, baby. Are you a freak? Hey. Why it looks so dark and like a comic book? Because you didn't let me press it. Is it stuck? Why would it be stuck? I just think he's sleeping. Oh, I was like, people usually <laughs> move a little bit in they sleep. <laughs> It's a dream. What was it a dream about? Sleep paralysis. I had almost had that this morning. <laughs> you like? It. Oh my god! Paralyzed by a ghost. <laughs> Bro, I wonder if you feel that little weird sensation, like it feels like white noise is traveling up your arms. Right. I hate when that happens when you have sleep paralysis. Ah, this thing is in suspended animation, bro. I bet the animators are probably just taking their time. They ain't got to do no new frames or nothing. It, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm at the point now I'm down to just have this single frame be the whole episode. Just to hear everything this nigga's gonna say. I used to ha I did not used to have it that long, but they used to happen to me all, <clears throat> all the time. <laughs> it's like, what if like a little tiny fart comes out? That's the only thing you can do to get somebody's attention. Oh my god. So they know this nigga suffers from this shit. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh man, it's the fourth wall of all fourth wall breaks. Ooh. Me? Michael Jackson? Yes. Get <laughs> it. <laughs> Bruh. This is a bad omen for what I'm about to experience this spring, isn't it? Please don't be. I wish I could sneeze so I can just yell out Rapukin. 
すぎとくんじゃねえらしいや。なんかどっかのお仕事をしてらしくて、話悪いらしい。ああ。こんちまでが離れてますよ。いいんだよ。なんだってこの作品は。セクション。実際の人物団体事件など一切関係ありません。余計な人を回さんでいいや。あたら。今さらがよ。なんか下のババアもよ。ねこんちまって店休んでるらしいよ。お父さんさんが。あのお父さんがですか。どっちかというと。<laughs> Now that boy got some of that public restroom toy tissue right there. That'll rip your damn nose off. Seriously. <laughs> hey. Colossus Super Special 3. <laughs> oh, so much for we should stay indoors. Uh oh. My boy Vonchance. Right? It's that damn tree. That's the root cause of it all, probably. What is this, an ogre? Pollen man? Ew. Hell no. Please, please get the fuck away from my dog. <laughs> This nigga look like something from a hentai. Can y'all tell this man that he's the root cause of this shit? Fart. Robin, man. <laughs> man, get the Gantz fighters up in this shit and get rid of this dude. Bro, I did not think he'd come in. He just made himself. He know what he's doing. Hell no. I put that plant right outside and close my door and lock it. <laughs> His house looks so out of place. Look at all the pollen. Right, that shit just oh makes your nose tingle. I <laughs> already shit. know. It's like I can feel this episode. <laughs> no, we gotta leave him. It'd be alright. Are you trying to serve my nigga? Oh. Hey. That show like be like. Who it is that like to be in a garden and stuff? People yeah. look all scary. Like the neighbor across from my well, where my grandmother used to stay. <laughs> oh, she kind of made this nigga start feeling some type of way. <laughs> I knew it. That's happened to me, but it wasn't as I was running. <laughs> oh, no. Bruh, you better hope this nigga don't just serve your ass a good fade. God! 
<laughs> oh shit, you been fucked up now, Phoenix Dr. Wu. Nigga probably gonna serve in one of the most delectable dishes. He <laughs> got all kind of plants he's gonna make. I think probably finna cook them one of the best vegan burgers. <laughs> It'd be funny if he's not even the cause of the pollen. Exactly. But well, I think he is, though. Yeah, he's gonna get a nice beat. I don't think he can smell like pollen. Not bad. <laughs> I think he used to fuck up a few people in this day. Mm. Ooh. Why well, got the little weird little bomb thing up in there? <laughs> I don't think I want what you offering, sir. I think he's just a nice dude. I mean, ain't no way to lie down but the flow. That dude like laying on the flow, though. I don't even know why they just so scared though. He kind of clarified that, yeah, he knew he was a scary nigga, but. Y'all yeah, finna try to beat him up. Mm -mm, I hope not. But I hope he bites you. We got the jump magazines? Really? That's what we doing? A little paperweight? <laughs> Come on, Gideon. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Damn. <laughs> Y'all really gonna make this nigga act a fool over the wrong kind of thing. I tell you, killing is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's real when they start doing that. The waiver. Hey. <laughs> uh, he probably do. Like these can't be. They can't be serious. Uh oh, Mario brother. It's like the opening from Kingdom Hearts two. <laughs> this poor guy probably feels so bad. This nigga trying to make y'all a home cooked meal and here y'all go. Oh, yeah. I knew it was going to be at the top. What did they think they was going to? Yeah, <laughs> 
Nigga face is creepy. <laughs> you gonna do jump? You know you gotta be hideous when you make motherfuckers just jump to their death without even trying. This is gonna be our final battle. Hey! You dumb beetle. <laughs> no. No, you could have swam back over there. Looping the third style, man. Right. <laughs> I'd probably be dead midair. <laughs> y'all don't stop. It's like if he was trying to kill y'all, he would not have caught y'all. Exactly. Who said it was gonna be? <laughs> okay, who? Hanson? Ben Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hey, all they was missing was that little laugh from the thriller video. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, that was episode what forty seven. Man, that was a pretty funny episode. I ain't gonna lie to you. These uh, last few episodes have kind of been like on the. I don't know. It's like they're in that area where they're not as hype as the ones that we've been watching for the past few arcs. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's for the best because we did come off of a big high arc in the form of Kagura's story with uh, her dad and stuff. And then we had the arc with getting Tama losing his memory and shit and he mm -hmm. had to regain it. So it's understandable why, you know, the animators and story writers haven't been going as hard as they usually do. They had to build up to it. Right. <laughs> See, this girl, this poor girl over here, you her butt off. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know that you know they ain't. No, it's really a, a, a nervous thing. I think. I think it's a, a nervous tick that I can't control because I only do it when I'm on camera. Otherwise, I don't just yawn like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know that. No, I'm just messing with you. But yeah, if I were to rate that one, I would give this one. I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B plus. Actually, we'll give this one an A. Look at you. you just trying to be different. No, actually, I really like this episode. This guy was just really nice, and he just happened to be unattractive. I mean, I just, just found to be it a, friend. a little frustrating that this thing literally told you that he knows what you're... He kind of knew what they were thinking, in a way. He's I like, this he has been the story of my movies. life. Uh, yeah, but he said that, hey, it's been a story of his life. Hmm. You know, he uh, he's used to getting that reaction. I guess, you know, he should have played it up. Well, he shouldn't have played it up more. He should have just... Be like, oh yeah, I know what you're doing, guys. But it's all right. It's all right. We cool. Let me make this um pollen gumbo for you. Pollen right. gumbo. Seriously, you know what I'm saying? With all the natural ingredients, um, moss, uh, foot grizzle, all that shit. But yeah, um, so we got a B, B, B plus and what, an A plus or A? Just an A. Just an A. Well, there you have it, guys. Just We're going to go ahead and keep it moving to this episode called The More You. Or whatever it's trying to say. There you go. Rip it. Well, this is your boy, RBG, signing in on the next episode, which is 48. The more you know. Let's get it. Damn, snatch them balls then. Sheesh. I don't even want to see what this nigga looks like now. <laughs> What are they gonna call the Shinshin Gumi out for being posers? Who just wanna live that like samurai lifestyle? Mm. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Right, like who can eat that much fucking mayonnaise? Nigga, you ain't no better. What the fuck is that? Red beans? Oh. Hey, 
Both of y'all suck when it comes to taste. Oh, red bean jam? Yeah. I'm about to say, ain't nothing wrong with some red beans and rice now. I know, that shit look like a red bean dookie ball, though. Look like some Nestle Crunch. It look like like cocoa rice krispies. It look like Roku. <laughs> Barbosa, Barbarossa. Boy, eat that shit in his cereal. He put it on everything. That's his wrench, bro. Are they going to force this innocent man to eat that nasty king? The three Parko brothers don't look like they got it all together anymore. Bro, these niggas ain't even going to be able to exact their revenge on the shit in Tengumi. They're going to have upset stomachs before they even get to the shit. Yeah. <laughs> have a seat over there. No, go ahead. Have a seat. All right. This nigga just come out in some tidy whiteies. <laughs> Pedro ain't having this shit. <laughs> oh my god guys get out of the theater if y'all gonna cause this much ruckus especially his ass he got this shit bad hey. it's like that yeah the last dragon yeah <laughs> Is there what's his name's sister or is that somebody else? <laughs> whoop -goop. Yeah, whoop the innocent dude's ass. Hey. Ooh, yeah. Damn, everybody's just fighting. Who is that? Is that my man? How are they able to watch this shit if his ass is stuck in the damn screen? Hey, like they ain't seen it. People don't watch bootleg movies before shoot. And then there was one. The Tekken was playing. So what they gonna do? Have a fucking sweat off? Gotta pour some more water up in the bad things. Here we go. <laughs> I bet they gonna raise the shit so hard the damn pressure is gonna build up. It's gonna be like a pressure cooker in there. Don't look in there, you idiot. That glass is probably gonna bust in his face. Right in his damn eye. Uh oh, back in the ground, blue. Got too much desire. No, got too much perspire. Right. There is no one you can split now. More than I can now. I don't see no stains. Do anyone think that is so strange? <laughs> so either this shit is gonna build up pressure or they're gonna just build up a lake of sweat that just 
pushes through the damn door. <laughs> Nigga, you are not finna go out like that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. You don't fold like that. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Nice. <laughs> so it was not a pressure cooker, it was just those two being uh, absolute idiots as you Pretty much. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, look at this! Blurring out his wings! Uh, right, his little balls hanging out and shit. What the fuck? So, this is another story. <laughs> Watch what everybody spin. Oh, oh, oh! Spin a Rooney! <laughs> exactly. You better listen to him. Damn. He might bring it back though. He's gonna prove it wrong. Yeah, what I tell you. Probably. I think it was that dude that they had broken to last time. They were dressed up like ninjas, like his fortress. But I could be wrong. Oh, these are some of the most. Ooh! <laughs> hey! I need to go your mind it. <laughs> Who's one now? You? I just did it for you. Oh, Why? <laughs> Elder abuse, man. What the fuck? No. Oh, I like how he did that. He's like. <laughs> Chihuahua. Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> 
Why, bro? Hey, oh, oh. <laughs> that nigga don't play when it comes to kick the can, man. Ooh, kunai. Let's go. <laughs> uh oh! Yeah, he's a ninja. A mad ninja at that. What trap? <laughs> uh oh, you gonna get stuck. Ah, oh, man, that shit like it hurt. That's the shit that would happen to me. <laughs> Ooh, nice. I'm just gonna roll out in the street. <laughs> I ain't know Kick the Can could be so epic. I ain't never played no Kick the Can. I didn't even know what it was about. <laughs> is that a real sport, guys? Or is that a real game? Yeah, I ain't never heard of it. I ain't never played it. If we, you know, if we did the thing. <laughs> so that's a ghost. I guess so. Like he's gonna vanish. Yeah, cause he did kind of appear out of thin air. Uh oh. No, he up in her dead. Yeah, because like when she was standing in front of the stairs, that nigga body just started appearing. That's cool, Boy, man. that was a, a little haunty. It was, because it, it kind of made us think. I, I think that's what it was. They were trying to make us think that, oh, this nigga is playing hooky from his own funeral. Like, he ain't dead. On, that's what no. I thought. I thought he was just not even dead. He just... Playing hooky from his own funeral. Right. Yeah. But no, he was really up in that dead. It was a ghost. Yeah, you know, and I, I like the overtone of this episode. Like, you know, you, your passions never die. Even though you go on to the world of uh, in the land of the beyond, you know, passions, you know, they never die. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the thing. It's like, even after he's left his world, he still would probably still be doing the thing that he loved the most, which is playing a good old classic game of Kick the Kid. What do you say about that? Yeah, it was a nice, another kind of heartfelt episode. It was a little, kind of got a little creepy. I, I don't like, know. I, I don't think it ever got creepy because he always. I kind of was like, damn, that's a creepy concept. Is what I'm saying. I think oh, it was I think she's about like creepy in terms of stranger danger no, territory. Or no, something. no, creepy like that's a that's a little bit of a creepy concept right there. Yeah, that I was unique. I could be thinking I'm talking to an old man and he did. Right, yeah, I like that one. That's probably one of the most unique spins I've ever seen in this series so far. And they've had a lot of unique spins, but that was one of the most unique of all spitty uniques. If I say so, my spin myself, my spin, my spin. What the fuck? <laughs> what? I don't know how I was just trying to say something well, stupid. Well, um, that wasn't English. So anyway, I would give that episode an A. I'll give it an A+. Look, I really enjoyed that one. That was really good. 
Like I say, I usually see stuff coming a mile away, but I did not see that I did see not that see that coming. one coming. Like, no, I did not. I thought it was just, oh, some practical, not some impractical, so. Yeah, nigga spirit just still over there chilling up like, in the alley. Like, eh, I think I'm gonna play some kick the curve. <laughs> yeah, nigga showing off his ninja skills. But uh, that's going to do it for us today, guys. We're going to go ahead and call it a wrap. Wrap the shit up. Um, yeah, if there's anything that we missed or anything that you guys feel the need to provide context to, then do that. Because we love seeing your comments clarifying things for us. But this is your boy RBG, a.k.a. The Random Black Gamer. Here are my lovely wife, Jenny Lee, on the ones and twos. And this is me and seen it reactions. We'll catch you guys on the next reaction, too. Again, time up. Peace.